G'day all, Mike Kirkpatrick here. Um, recently Scott announced um, the release of a new rod, the, the Scott Centric. Um, don't mind admitting I was a little bit nervous because it was replacing my favourite rod, which was the Scott Radian. Um, so I think the new Centric had a lot to live up to. And I recently got the chance to go out and give the 6 and 5 weights uh, a good test with a good friend of mine, Tom. Uh, and in pretty tough conditions, uh, a lot of wind for a couple of days and big fish and pretty big water. And the rods themselves are a, a very, very understated dark, almost black blank with very subtle red accents. It was always touted to be very quick. It's very subtle through the tip, very low swing weight. Um, and what I found with this rod, and it helps being a very fast action, was it's laser, laser accurate. Um, obviously the quicker you get the fly there, uh, the more accurate you're going to be. It's a moody day that greets us in today's high country setting. The wind is set to increase, and it's already gusting downstream when we sight our first fish, which looks to be a large brown. I've chosen the 9 foot 5 weight centric, rigged with an 18 foot leader and an indicator with two heavy nymphs. Perfect, perfect, that's as good as you'll get it. Yep. Lovely Mike, well done. First cast. I think he's a good fish mate. That was epic eh. No, yeah, I just saw him. He might not be a dub. He looked it in the water, though, for sure. It's about now that the fish rolls on the line and hooks itself on the second nymph. This always makes it much tougher to land them, so the situation is going to test the five weight to the absolute max. About 30 seconds into the flight, did a big thrash. I think the second fly's hooked him. Uh, it's not really controllable. Morning tea at the truck. <laughs> I'm really having to lean on this big brown to stop him going down the opposite braid, where I won't be able to follow. The five weight is handling it admirably. Look at the broad! That's some pressure. Yeah. Is that the five or the six? Five. Oh, wow. Nice job, great netting. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, what a fight. So I've yeah. just popped the, the second fly. Just popped the second fly off his body. And that's what made it hard. Track down. There's the second that was on his body here with the roll. First cast right on top of the goal. <laughs> nice.
mean, I could, I could do without the arm stretching. Unfortunately, it's a risk of using two nymphs. You know, sometimes you're going to get the second one on the body, but it's not the first time it's happened this season either, which doesn't make it easy in these big rivers, but um, worth the run. I think it's taken us probably 300 metres downstream. But um, I don't know about you guys, but I reckon that guy's worth it. Absolutely. Thumping trout. Wait, right, would you pick up the bit of tip there? Okay, so we'll get him back in, eh? Thank you. Mwah. Um, yeah, another couple of little things I like about the rod too is the fact that you've got this quick lock or release lock here, and it's um, bang, and it's and it's locked. Seems like a small thing, but it's the small details um, that make all the difference. You know. It's really subtle in the in the real seat, uh, and it balances really nice with these, you know, the modern reels like the Lamson reels here. They're quite light too, so it's nice balance. You don't want to put a really heavy reel on a, on a light rod. I think it tends to kill it a bit. Uh, so they're just a beautiful looking rod. Certainly, it's one of those rods that when you you chuck it and you quiver and you go fishing, you want to get it out and use it. You know what I mean? When you walk in the river and you go, oh, wait, I can't wait to see a fish like start casting the thing, you know? So it certainly has that element to it, that's for sure. It's not long before we find another fish, and it's feeding well, so we're confident of getting a take. Oh, he nearly ate a try. <laughs> Held up. Great cast, you're gonna catch this fish. He'll eat this. Well done, mate. Well done. They're fighting real well, eh? Yeah, you could be right, eh? Could be a solid rainbow, though, eh? You know, six pounder or something. That's a rainbow, mate. That's solid. Like, it could be, actually. I'm seeing flashes of silver, too. Yep, rainbow. Big rainbow. That's a cracking rainbow. Whoa! Lovely. Nice work. Nice run. So first time using the old Scott Centric. Mm. What do you think of it? Yeah, no, incredible rod. Um, nice and fast. Um, casting like big flies into the wind today. That sort of you know was pretty effortless. I mean we're using pretty long leaders, so it was getting good turnover. Absolutely. Fighting fish. So fighting fish. No, I found it uh, very powerful. Um, a little bit softer in the tip section, but that was nice. So you could sort of use light tippets and it was a bit of a shock absorber. Um, but yeah, very powerful down the bottom end there. So now we're landing fish very quick, I found. Pretty sort of wild 
unpredictable sort of a day weather-wise, but and we've got a fish up in here. Tom's up next, looking to test the merits of the six-weight centre on what looks to be another big brownie. Fish. Yeah, it's a good fish. Yeah, it's doing well. I'm actually putting the keys Lovely blue cheek, eh? Hey? That's that's what I'm most stoked about, eh? Hey? Just the colour. What are you thinking of that, bub? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Give us a lot, bud. Start to the day. Absolutely. Thank you, fish. See you later. And off like a shot. Oh, wicked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well done, mate. Well done. And we've got plenty of exploring to do. And, and the ease of casting? Yeah, very effortless. Um, like very light in the hand. Probably one of the lightest fly rods I've ever held in my hand. And casting it, you know, into the wind, I found pretty effortless, really. Yeah. It made it look easy. <laughs> when I first got my hands on it, I was, you know, a little bit interested to see how it would go, but no, there's a lot of power on that rod. I mean, certainly when you start bending the butt section there, um, yeah, there's a lot more power than you think. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I've casted a lot of fly rods, all brands, um, and I've always wanted to go that sort of stiff, fast section. The Meridian's always covered it for me. I've never found a rod close, but um, with the Centric, it's, um, you know, it's kind of basically the Meridian to Meridian, that, that somewhere in between, but it's got a lot more feel, and I find more power, actually, overall, after I've fished it now for a while. Yeah, it's definitely got a lot of power. <laughs> It is a, a stunning trout. Okay, buddy. Happy with that one. Beautiful. He's ready to go. Fish. Beautiful. Well, that's not bad. Well, we've seen three and we've landed three. <laughs> uh, look, yeah, that, that's probably one of its, I think, one of the strong points, to be honest. Um, you're casting long leaders into wind, you need to have a rod that's fast. You know, slow rod's not going to cut it, it's going to open the loops up too much. So it's fast, but it doesn't sacrifice that feel through the tip. So when you really just have that last flick of the wrist, whether it's short or long, 
um, it still has that ability to flatten and roll out and extend fully to straighten the leader and then drop on the water. And you can aim a little higher if you want to with less wind and drop it softly or just nail it in there. You know? And so um, I really enjoyed that. And I think that um, the fact that it's soft enough in the tip that you can actually roll mend, um, you can make any of the adjustments you want with fl flick of the wrist instead of using the whole rod. Just a gentle little flick of the wrist and you can roll that line where you want. And I think it's really important in a, a modern rod. It's a new day and Tom's testing the six weight with a contact nymphing rig set up. So what do you reckon Tommy? Yeah well I'm pretty confident here, he's a happy trout that's for sure. Although I'm up on a high big rock I'm kind of confident that I'm going to get the pass right. I'm going to play a big one though. Okay. Oh. oh, oh, oh. You reckon he had a crack at that? No, I don't think he ate it, but he certainly like rejected it, you know, quite a few times. Yeah. Maybe I should change that now. You reckon change time? Yeah, yeah, I've got, that's a massive dog simple. He was keen on it, but you know. Yeah. I would have thought I would have got the eat. Yeah. While Tom's changing flies, the big brown moves across to the far side of the deep run and under a huge rock. So we cross to try our luck from there. Well, we've had um, a couple of close looks, nothing going in the, ne in the first couple of hours, but looks like Tom might have found a fish down below us. Because there was one just down in here, but he's chased off. Uh, maybe it's it, I'm not sure. Yep. The large brown slides over to take the big stone fly nymph. Yep. Well done, bud. Okay. Now what? Need to get myself out of the way. He's pretty big and we're stuck up on a rock, so... Well done, mate. That's a good fish. Oh, it's clean, it's a stunner. Yeah. Mate, that is a. I'm happy with that. Absolutely. Mate, a absolutely. Well, for a lot of people, um, Tom, that's the fish of a lifetime. Oh, exactly, eh? I'm oh. Lucky here, eh? Show us the fish and then we'll get him away, eh? Let's get him out of the light there. Oh, yeah. That's 
absolute stunner. Strollers back towards you a little bit, that's it. Yep. Big shoulder on him. Okay, we'll get him away, eh? Thank you, fish. Good fun. Good fun. I'm well done that, man. <laughs> that was awesome off that rock. I didn't <laughs> think I was going to land that. I thought he was going to fly down the river, but... Yeah, we were sitting he, um, way up in there. And he actually played a pretty good ball game. He, uh, it was a good fight, but he didn't go too ballistic, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, he didn't, and he stayed up in here, he which is... Up, yeah. yeah. Good work. We put both the five and six weight rods through their paces over the next hour, with few fish showing any signs of activity, until a long fast run reveals a couple of feeding browns. The winds getting up in strength and short casts with long 18 foot leaders are set to test the merits of my choosing the five weight over the six. <laughs> I'll say. <laughs>
After hearing a few cicadas chirping, I'm looking for a suitable pattern to tie on. I'm pointing at a spot where I found a nice fish lying near the surface in front of a large rock. I've tied on a cicada pattern with the hopes of him taking off the surface. Tom looks on from the high cliff above. Mike, that was epic, man. That was insane. <laughs> oh, what? That was epic. In summary, Scott made wonderful handcrafted fly rods and the new Centric is right up there with the very best they've made. Light, fast and powerful. Like a radiant on steroids. Give one a try. I'm pretty sure you'll love it.